The first time I found out or I was introduced to the uh, building campaign at Living War Family Church was uh, about five or six years ago. Uh, that uh, the Lord really told me, put that in my heart, that He wanted me to start building His house. We need the space, as you can see now, we're growing and um, we're almost sitting on top of each other. This is a very big church to us. We came from a very small church, but I just can see how much more a church like this can do if it has the proper space and to, you know, expand because there's so many different aspects of missions going out and also, you know, teaching the people that you have and all the different ages and everything. And it's really tight in some of the areas. The community outside and the seeds that we've sown to the community has resulted in a net uh, growth for our church. And I just think growing is needed. And to grow, you need bigger space. Any family, as it grows, needs more space. I see um, the expansion as Acts 2, 41 through 47 coming to life. The building is one of the first things that we need to attract people. We are growing here. So it's not only growing the building, growing in the outside, but also growing within the church. To me, the most important thing that we have to do here while we're here on this earth is to bring glory to God, and the second thing is to bring people to Him, to allow Him to work in their lives. And the building upgrade is going to do that. We're doing the upgrade campaign here at Living War Family Church because I believe that is God's vision for every church in the world. That's the way His kingdom will come and His will be done because He wants His body to grow to outreach. He wants everybody to be saved. He wants us to be a tool, his tool here on earth. We need to finish the vision. I mean, we're part way through and one of the lessons I've learned here and that I've learned, you know, through different things that we've been through is that you just need to keep going until the vision is complete. To stop now, it, it, it seems to me that it would be it would be a loss. If we stop doing that, if we stop growing, then uh, then we'll die. Through testimonies, we've seen that if people give, it's going to be given back to you. And as we've witnessed within ourselves, we have given greatly, and we were able to still reap a really great harvest. While I'm here, I'm just not going to sit and do nothing. While I'm here, I'm gonna do whatever he wants me to do. I see an auditorium filled with people, people that represent the community. I see thousands of people from all cultures, from all backgrounds, from different languages from different social status. I see areas that are big enough to house the people that are coming in and still coming in. I see a community of people enjoying themselves more as a family. I see them coming in and, and just being wowed by what's going on around them, what, what they see, that this is a, a, a first-class facility, but also it's filled with first-class people. I see a community of people who are enjoying what they're doing and are blessed because of it. The cross leaning out over the parking lot, you know, as people come in, uh, it, it, that excites me to see the see what's going gonna go on with, with the uh, children's area. From different walk of life, coming here, not only receiving the Word of God, but also giving their souls to Christ, which is the main goal.